Hey guys, Just making an update here on what I've been doing with this turbine. That's the beginning of the mold for the stator. Just have to cut the center out here and put it in. And I have some, it's all sealed all the way around here, taped all the way around the edge. Three quarter inch plywood. It'll be the same as the last turbine I made where I can put the coils in star or delta just with a switch. So I'm going to have all these, all the starts and finishes coming out here. There's three here, three there. This will be the top of the stator. Bolt here, 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 and here. And that sort of coils will be obviously up to here I've got my coil winder here jig for it just have to put it in the machine and wind them up they have to be 302 grams each and yeah, it's gonna be number 19 wire again high voltage it's easier to make watts than it is to make amps. You can make amps with an MPPT or a transformer. Okay, here you can see 757 grams. There's 272 turns on here. Number 19. And uh, the jig itself weighs 455 grams so I got exactly what I need 302 grams on there oh, that coil definitely worked out nice first one that's pretty good It's a little bit heavy. Good enough though for the first one I can adjust from here. I can take a few windings off of it. Must have had it pretty close the first time I weighed it. Yeah, I took it off once, and it was at, I had figured it was 290 grams when I took it off, so I put on another 22 turns. So I think somewhere around 250 to 260 turns should be perfect. Hey, here, in the mold here now. This is three quarter inch plywood. This perfect. This is 260 turns. It weighs 315 grams. So yeah, and it's gonna have to go down to 250, I guess. But I just want to see how they lay out in here until I adjust everything. It's pretty damn good. I want them as thin as possible. So I don't like having big wraps on them. I'll just use black tape once I get the amount of turns I want done properly here. I should be able to get her on this one. at these coils it's like holy shit <laughs> be 10 pounds of copper in there with these fucking monster magnets real N52s three quarter inches thick 
one inch by two inches by three quarters thick. I'll build a wind turbine and get all the rotors and everything done. These will be the last thing I do. I don't need those fucking magnets hanging around here. It's 20 pounds of magnets. They weigh half a pound each. They're on. Keep on. There they are all finished in here now. Time to start wiring them together. Ten point five pounds of copper. You know, here I've got some brass bolts, stainless steel nuts, connected them just like that. When I'm done here, I'll put a bunch more fiberglass around everything here before I put resin in it. And then this time I'm just going soldering everything up using some heat shrink. And I'll unmode each coil here as I go around. Make sure all the connections are good and strong. Five coils per phase. Okay, this is for somebody who's never wired up a three phase alternator before. So, I'm gonna call it this side here the start because I've started here. So, that's the bottom one on these coils, like the start of the coil. I've got wound, wound the whole coil, and this is the end of it right here goes to this blue right here and that'll go to your start of your next one on your number one phase so there'll be five of these coils on number one phase one two three four and five that's the end of it when this is done here it'll go to another bolt right here and that's all there is when you wire these up just take the 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 finish of that coil here and solder it to the start of your next one in that phase There'll be five coils in series. See, here's the end of it. That one will go to this one. That's the start of the third one in the, in the series in the phase. This is coil three. The first one in the third phase. It will go to this one, to the second coil, and the third piece. There's simpler ways to wire this. If you want, you can actually wire each phase out of the, like just on a flat piece of wood or something, and then put them in there like that. But I, I just find it easier. It's a little more complicated, but it's easier to have your coils where you want them when you're done, I find. It's just important to make sure you have really good connections. This is going to be more of a high voltage turbine. Maybe maximum of 10 amps coming out of it. It's going to go through an MPPT or a transformer to step the voltage down. 
and then into an MPBT. Well, there it is all finished. Well, wired up anyways. So I have to wait for the resin though. Fucking seller. I had to order a new one because this one seller bought stuff from it was taking forever to ship it. So I just ordered a couple more gallons from a different person. Which is good because that stuff's halfway here and the other fuckhead still hasn't shipped it. All he did was put the tracking information to FedEx and it still hasn't been shipped at all. So. Hopefully I get the resin for this by the end of next week. Which will give me time to build the turbine and uh, I have the resin for the magnet rotors. I'm just waiting for the resin for this because it's going to be good for 180 degrees. Magnet rotors are not as hot. Well, here's the stator before I put the resin in it. Just, I'll adjust that shit before I do it. Check the ohms one last time. Each phase is 7 ohms. Really nice high voltage stator. 10.5 pounds of copper. 315 to 320 grams each. This is stainless steel. These are all brass. Stainless steel nuts. Got these huge magnets that'll be going on the rotor. These are N52s, 147 pounds of pull on them. Oh, here, you can see the stack, so let's cover up my address here. Right there, the top line. Half a pound each. Got them from applied magnets. Top ones there, the N52. 44 of them. So yeah, this should work pretty good. So like I said, I gotta have a classic for this 250. And if I need to step down the voltage, I got a three-phase transformer that'll go from 600 volts down to whatever I need, 200 or 120. I can do with that transformer. That's good for 60 amps, so should be just fine. It's easy to make a switch for the wind to turn the turbine on and off when the wind isn't blowing so that it's not loaded to start. It's going to have a 80 inch diameter, I think it is, when it's all done. Should work. Well, there it is. Ten and a half pounds of copper coils. Fifteen coils. High voltage stator. You 
can see that. I think it ohms out around 7 ohms, 7.2 or something, I can't remember. First coil, second coil, second phase, I mean, 7.3, each coil has 260 turns on it. And they weigh anywhere from about 315 to 320. I only need about 10 amps out of this thing maximum. And 10 amps is enough to keep it under control from over speeding. So. That's all I need. I always press my coils down to make sure everything's flat. I put a weight on it. This here would just get sanded down. I really don't care what the mold looks like, I just care about the finished product, that it works good and it doesn't get hot or break down and strong. These are stainless steel, all four of them. These are brass with stainless steel. a needle you can see it still magnetic but barely at all or as you can see that's magnetic some of that is magnet really grabs but these things hardly even attract which is Brass doesn't attract at all. Exactly what you want when it's close like that. But in reality, you still have the bracket that's going to come right here. So if anything's going to attract, it's going to be the bracket. So I'm not fucking making that out of something that's not steel. I don't have any stainless steel to make a big bracket out of. Ideally, that's what you'd want to use. Well, thanks for watching.